Hello and welcome to the Oil Museum of Canada. I have a question for you. Have you ever wondered what is oil doing here in southwestern Ontario? And how did we discover it? And how did it get to be here? Well, those are very simple but also complicated questions. And it starts with the fact that in the 1800s, there was the Geologic Survey of Canada done by the Royal Commission and you could literally step in the oil here. So that is how it was discovered in this area is the fact that if you look right down here, these are the gum beds of oil springs and you can see that they are bubbling and oozing oil to this day. And on a very hot day, it is a bubbling crude. Like you can feel how soft and sticky it is. On a cold day in the winter time, it does get as hard as a hockey puck. But why is it here to begin with? Well, we have to go really far back in time. Millions upon millions of years ago, approximately 400 million years ago, this entire area was a saltwater sea, teeming with single-celled organisms and organic life. Those organic things were things such as amoebas, algae, and plankton. All of this stuff, all of this organic life, absorbed energy from the sun and stored it in its bodies through a process called photosynthesis. And basically crude oil in many ways is buried sunshine. So what we're going to do is how did it get here? Well, over time, all of that organic material died off and created these large biomats on the bottom of the sea floor. Over time, they were buried and compacted. And those are the building blocks for crude oil. You need an organic deposit, time, heat, and pressure to chemically and physically convert that organic material into oil or coal or natural gas. And it depends on the variations of that time, heat, pressure, and parent organic material that you get crude oil. So over time, this stuff was cooked here in the bowels of the earth. And there are cracks and fissures within the rock layer that has allowed this oil to ooze to the surface so that it was easily discovered by people of this area. Initially, the indigenous populations would have harvested this bitumen to seal the bottoms of their canoes or to use for medicinal needs. And starting in the 1850s, James Miller Williams dug the first oil well here and harvested the crude oil to refine it into kerosene. This is still today one of the most energy dense substances that the earth produces and we use it in hundreds if not thousands of different ways to create a comfortable modern life. And it is the technology here that changes everything and creates the world that we live in today. I encourage you to come visit us here at the Oil Museum of Canada. You can see the physical gum beds where the oil naturally oozes out of the ground. You can see the, all of the different things and ask us questions. Please feel free to contact us and like us across all of our social media channels we can't wait to see you here at the Oil Museum of Canada in Oil Springs.